Alam ba, milk tea? May hulo sa'yo. Oo. Bibig-bibig ko yung mga gano'n. Magkano yan? Tubig? Hindi na. Yan siya mabayad. Magkano kunin ko may? Magkano milk tea? 65 cent. Ay, dalawa lang. Pwede. Atin lang yun. Wala si Jessica. Mama ako. Hindi ka na pwede sumama. Doon alabas ng gate. Dito ka lang. Kulit mo. Huwag na kayo may ingay, ha? Sarayan. Hindi kita pwede siya. Tinan mo. Hey, good afternoon. Call your classmates so we could start a little earlier.
अच्छा अगर Okay, I'm sorry, I got disconnected. <clears throat> Are we complete? Uh, no doubt, three more students have left. Okay, uh, please tell them to join in so we could start. Yes, ma'am. Are you seeing the case on your screen? Yes, good yes, dog. No. All right. Okay, are you complete? Let's wait for the others to join in. So, but you could read it and um, start reading the case uh, by yourselves.
What is the next topic? What's our topic on Wednesday? Mayoma daw. Mayoma, okay. okay. So our topic for this afternoon, so while waiting for uh, other students to join. Our topic for this afternoon is a fairly common gynecological complaint that we will see at our outpatient. Very often we will see a woman of reproductive age or even menopausal age that will complain of vaginal discharge. So uh, infection is fairly common and it is important for you to be able to identify and to be able to know basic treatment of vaginal infection such as the case of my Myla. Okay, so for today we will have the case of Myla. Anyone who would want to read the case? Ready, Chakradar. Yes, ma'am. Okay, please read the case for us. Yes, ma'am. Myla is a 25 year old single Filipino who consulted at the clinic last May 3, 2020, with a chief complaint of yellow green uh, malodorous vaginal discharge accompanied by occasional pruritis. She is having fever. Uh, past medical history is. No hypertension, no diabetes, no bronchial asthma, no thyroid disorders, uh, no previous hospitalizations or any surgery. Family history, positive for hypertension, both father and mother. Uh, no diabetes mildness, no bronchial asthma, no thyroid disorder or no cancers. Uh, personal, social and sexual history. Uh, she is an office staff smoker. Five sticks per day for 10 years and occasional alcoholic beverage drinker. She has four sexual partners. First coitus was at 20 years uh, with her 20 year old boyfriend who worked also as an office staff. Her current partner is her boyfriend for two months. He is a 27 year old call center employee. The first unprotected coitus with her current boyfriend was 10 days ago. She denies having post coital bleeding and dyspareunia. She has been taking oral contraceptive pills for two months already. She denies using condom or any other form of barrier contraception. Menstrual history. Minark was at 12 year old. Her menses were regular with an interval of 28 to 30 days, lasting for three to four days. Amounting to three to four moderately so good pads per day. She denies having dysmenorrhea during her menses. Obstacle history, GO, last menopausal, LNMP, April 26 to 30, 2020, PNMP, March 24, 2020. Okay, so even if it's 2020 or 2021, it doesn't matter because the patient is not pregnant. Okay, so yes, given the um, history of the patient, um, what are the things that, one, are you happy with the history? What else would you like to know from the patient? And what are the, uh, what are your differentials given the said history? That you would have to elicit and anticipate when you do your physical examination. Ashraf Gangal. Yes, Doc. Doc, uh, with the history, the first uh, history was greenish, yellowish greenish discharge, which points toward uh, trichomonas infection. Uh, plus, there was also uh, mentioned that she has uh, this uh, pruritus. She came with pruritus. The things which were not mentioned was also the presence.
Sorry for that. Um, okay. And then, uh, there's that, there's discharge which may point to an infection. You will surmise that it is probably a trichomonas infection. Okay. What uh, what points to a trichomonas infection, Ash Ashraf? Uh, presence of pruritus spore and plus she had uh, unprotected sex with her current boyfriend, which was 10 days ago. And this started one week back. So it's probably the cause. What are your other differentials? Or other differentials, it may be uh, candidiasis. Okay, candidia candidiasis. How will candidiasis present? Who uh, for candidiasis, the presentation of discharge will be a uh, cottage cheese appearance. Why is discharge? A whitish discharge. How how else could you better describe a uh, candida infection? It will it it will also present with pruritus. Plus, uh, the discharge will be scanty discharge, and there will be a uh, splash dysuria in candidiasis. What's the um, pathognomonic description of your candida aside from being white. Pretty. Uh, doc, is it curdy discharge, curdy white? Curdy white, like cottage cheese. When you see that in your um, description, when another doctor would write in your findings, or when you see it in your exam question, think fungal infection or your candida albicans. Okay. So, trichomonas, um, candidiasis. What other infections would you know? But again, you could live with the two. I couldn't, I will not blame you. What are the other infections that you know? Uh, dog bacterial vaginosis also presents similarly with discharge and uh, maybe pruritus sometimes. That's candidiasis. It will present with pruritus. So more or less, you are looking at a vaginal infection. You are looking if it has a component of chronic pelvic inflammatory disease. So, can we proceed with the physical examination with your differentials? Okay. Could someone kindly read the physical examination? Migakshi, Gumber. Yes, Doc. Please read the physical examination for us. Physical examination, uh, general survey. Uh, the patient is conscious, coherent, ambulatory, and not in cardiorespiratory distress. The vital signs are BP 90 over 60, heart rate 80 beats per minute, a respiratory rate 9, 19, temperature 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, for the hand, chest, and lungs, um, not given. Uh, the abdomen is flat, normal active bowel sounds, soft, non-tender, tympanic on percussion. The pelvic exam, external genitalia is normal, no ulcers, lesions or masses are noted. On speculum examination, cervix is pink, smooth, covered by small red punctate spots. Yellow green foul smelling frothy discharge. On internal exam, cervix is firm, long, closed. Uterus is antiverted, not enlarged. No on uh, not enlarged on tender. 
no tenderness maybe uh, no adnexal masses or tenderness no cervical motion tenderness okay what are the pertinent positives that would um, be important in your physical exam additional your rectal exam intact sphincter tone empty vault smooth with no nodulations okay so what are the pertinent positives and negatives in your physical exam ishan kumar Yes, bro. For the uh, internal examination, the cervix cervix is framed and the uterus is not enlarged or uh, no any masses or any tenderness. What, why is that pertinent? Priyal? Uh, you would, yes, would you like to add anything? Uh, Ma'am, for the pelvic examination, we have to check once there is no any uh, discharge or uh, any other things. And look at the PE. You have you already have your PE. What is pertinent in your pelvic exam? The normal and extra genitalia, no ulcer, ma'am. Lesions or masses noted. What's in the finding that will point you to a vaginal infection? And what particular type of vaginal infection are we dealing with? Ma'am, trichomonas, now we are dealing with. Okay, what would be pathognomonic of a trichomonas infection in your pelvic examination description? Anyone? Uh, Doctor, have two differentials, right? Discharge, it's either due to trichomonas or due to candida. So what point you're saying that it's most likely trichomonas? What in your exam would verify that it is indeed trichomonas? This is without any diagnostic. Ma'am, classic discharge, frothy, frothy discharge or any uh, strawberry appearance of the vagina. Thing, and okay. which is covered by small red punctate spots. Like okay. uh, we can say like the pathognomic is strawberry cervix in case of uh, trichomonas vaginalis. Okay, that is your strawberry cervix, the small red punctate spots, although it's not always present in a trichomonas infection. Of your yellow green fishy odor, foul smelling, frothy discharge. That is, uh, when you see that, you think trichomonas. When it's fungal, you see your cheesy curd like discharge uh, in the cervix. Okay. So, have we answered what are your considerations? You have considered your different vaginal infections, although most common would be your trichomonas, your bacterial vaginal, ah, bacterial vaginosis, candidiasis, vaginal candidiasis. Um, also, other vaginal infections that you should consider would be the sexually transmitted diseases. If you are to consider sexually transmitted diseases, what are your top considerations? Oh, PID. What are the co most common causes of your 
pelvic inflammatory disease. Doc, Neisseria, gonorrhea, or chlamydia trachomatis? So it's either your gonorrhea or your chlamydia, okay? Uh, those are the top two considerations. Of course, there are other infections, but those are the most common infections that will cause discharge, okay? Uh, knowing the history and PE and you would want to zero in on these infections, what are the laboratory exams that you would want to request for? Ma'am, gram stain examination. Okay, gram stain. What would your gram stain verify? What would your gram stain tell you? Ma'am, uh, it spell the quantity of PNMs or it, it's a gram negative or gram positive diplococci. Okay, if it's a gram, if it's chlamydia or gonorrhea, what how, how would it appear? It's appear, ma'am, red because uh, gonorrhea is and chlamydia is gram negative. How would it look like in clusters, in pairs, diplococci? I gave the answer. <laughs> How would your chlamydia look like? Diplococci. It would give you a diplococci um, appearance. Okay. So your gram stain would tell you such. What are the other things that you could do um, as a diagnostic? Okay, what would your microscopy tell you? Okay, what are the smears that you would have to do if you want to do a proper microscopy on vaginal infections? You have to prepare how many slides? Mahesh, Ganga, oh. Mahesh? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what are the slides? If you want to do um, smear microscopy, what are the slides that you have to do? How many? Uh, two slides, ma'am. Two? Yes. And what would that have? What will you put on the slide? The... Stabilizer at the... Anyone who wants to help? Vaginal secretion plus POH now. Okay, what will you put in your vaginal infection? What agent? KOH. KOH. KOH would tell you what? Candida, ma'am. Okay, it would tell you that it, it would confirm if your patient would have candida, you will see the hyphal elements. Okay, what are your other slide preparations? That's one for gram stain. What? For staining them. What are, what are your other um, preparations? There 
correct now. KOH is correct. What's the other? Dog, Jim Sustain. Jensen Stain, what will it tell you? Doc, it can confirm if there is chlamydia infection. Chlamydia? What else will you do? What criteria is that? What criteria are we trying to... AMSLA's criteria. What is AMSLA's criteria? Doc, it has four... Um... In, uh, it has four things. Three of them should be present for the presence of va uh, bacterial vaginosis. Okay. What are the four criteria in AMSELS? Doc, the first one is uh, if we put KOH, then uh, that is the WIF test. WIF test. Okay. WIF test. Uh, you know that it's a fishy discharge if you smell that it's uh, fishy. Okay, what are the other parts of your AM cells? Blue cells. Blue cells. I'm the pH is 4.8. Your vaginal pH, that's correct. What else? Vaginal discharge is present. Again, I'm sorry. Again? Homogeneous vaginal discharge is present. Okay, and then? Uh, four, presence four of blue cells, cells ma'am. Blue cells, present of? Blue cells, ma'am. 20%. Okay. And order, ma'am. Okay, so homologous discharge, blue cells, vaginal pH, and fishy odor. Okay, so how many out of four should we need to diagnose BV? Three. At I least think. three, ma'am. At least three out of four. So we have ruled in and ruled out your differentials, as you have mentioned. Diagnostic tools. Okay. So we have done AM cells, microscopy. And you see on microscopy on your web mount, this one. What is this? Cells. So these are your clue cells, which is indicative of your what? Uh, bacterial vaginosis. Okay. So to answer the rest of the questions, what should you request to confirm your initial impression? Doc, uh, we can do culture. Okay. Of course, with any bacteria, we for any diagnosis, for any definitive, we do culture to isolate the bacteria. Okay, risk factors found in the patient and not found in the patient. Would you know? Multiple, uh, multiple, partners. Partners. multiple sex partners and unprotective uh, sex. Or smoking, ma'am. Okay. What else? Hormonal changes associated with birth control pills, ma'am. Uh, the reproductive age or the age of the patient who is very, uh, like, 25 years in which we can have the vaginal infections very often. Okay, so PI, um, uh, uh, sexual partners not found in this patient, no risk of diabetes, etc. etc. Treatment of choice for Myla, what's the treatment for 
bacterial vaginosis according to the CDC? Metronidazole. Five hundred mg for seven days. For seven day, how many times? Twice, ma'am. Twice. All right. What are your other second line agents if your metronidazole would be not a uh, would not be available? Tidenazole, ma'am, two mg already in single dose. Lindamycin. Lindamycin, 300 mg, twice a day for seven days. All right. Um, just make sure that the CDC that you would refer to would what um, have would be the most current um, source. So you may be referring to an old version of your CDC. Okay. And we have discussed the ANSELS criteria. Fairly simple, but it's a common disease that you will definitely encounter at your clinics, especially um, if you do your clerkship in um, in the uh, eventually. Uh, so it's one of the basic competencies as far as gyne uh, learning is concerned. Any questions for this SGD? Could we have a picture? Could you open your videos? And someone please make a screenshot, Abhishek, and send to me. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions with regards to vaginal infection? So if there's none, you may leave this call. We will have our SGD on Wednesday on Myoma. Okay, so read up on Myoma and uh, I will try to find a case for you. All right. So thank you for attending this um, short session.